All right, in this example, instead of being given a z value and asked to find the area under the normal distribution, we're actually given that area called alpha, and we're going to be asked to find the z value. So the alpha we're given is 75%. Now, if we're going to use this to look up uh, a z value from the table, we actually need to put this back into decimal form. So this would be the same thing as 0.75 and 0, 0, just since all the entries in the data table have four decimal places. And so now what I'm going to have to do is look through the, the table, find the closest thing I can, because usually there won't be this exact value, and see what that z value is. So if I go and I start looking through my table, I see a bunch of, OK, 0.74 something, 0.75 something. And the closest thing here, so I've got two values here. I'm just going to put them up right quick. I've got an area of 0.7486, and I've got an area of 0.7517. And I need to decide which one of these I'm going to use. Well, notice that the difference between this value and this one, the one we're looking for, is 17, or, well, really 0 0.0017. And the difference between this one and the value we're looking for is 0.0014. So this one's closer, right? It's 0.0014 away as opposed to 0.0017 away. So I'm going to use this area right here, the 0.7486. And if I look at what that z value is going to be, that's going to be 0 0.67. So the z value that correlates to that alpha is 0. 6, 7. And you can put approximately here. So if you're given a value for alpha, it, the hardest part is just deciding which one to use. And the way you decide is just whichever one's closer. So for 75%, the closest I can get is 74.86%. And that z value is 0 0.67. And that is this example.